thank you. Yo, thank you. Thank you for having us. So, so I'm doing great. I've been down here. Uh, I think we're starting our 15th day today. So we're down here for two weeks, give or take. And what we're doing is threefold, right? The first thing is we're doing stuff like this, which is just outreach, getting you guys excited about being cool to be a scientist. I mean, you know, not that I'm that cool because I'm kind of old, but you guys can actually come down here and do science. So we're bringing the young kids down here. They can help me and they have helped me with the science. The second thing that we're doing is we're doing outreach to a larger group. So basically I'm bringing visiting scientists down here like Dr. Sylvia Earle. I don't know if you know her, but she's a world famous marine scientist, right? Uh, uh, doctors of ichthyology, doctors of benthic geology, shark doctors, like some of the guys that are on Shark Week. And we're gonna talk about what's important to them in the marine environment and talk about preserving, protecting and rejuvenating our marine environment. So that guess what? If we don't take care of it, it's not gonna be here for you. So that's the second thing. And the third and final thing is my kind of bailiwick, this is what I do, is I do biomedical research. So I did a whole bunch of blood, urine, and saliva testing beforehand. Uh, and then I'm doing a whole bunch while I'm down here. And then we did a whole bunch afterwards. We'll do a whole bunch afterwards. And what we're looking for is we're looking for lines, trend lines, right? Are you getting better? Or are you getting worse? We know that when you stay on the International Space Station for a year, because Scott Kelly did it, that you get taller. Why? There's no gravity compressing you down. I am underwater. I am being overly compressed. I will probably be an inch shorter when I come up. We'll see, right? We're also working with, it's almost the same environment, same or similar environment as the International Space Station in that we don't have lots of things to work out. So what we have to do for workouts is these stretchy bands or resistance bands. So we're working with these pressure cuffs to increase some of the ability for us to train with just these stretchy bands underwater. So it's kind of cool. We're also testing some artificial intelligence, which is kind of like if you guys have ever watched Star Trek, uh, it's a little device that you can kind of wand over yourself that will tell you what's wrong with you. So we're it, that's a very vague uh, description of it, but it's basically a generalization of what we're trying to do. So that and daily, I'm doing EEGs, electroencephalograms, electrocardiograms to check my heart. I'm visualizing my heart with a scanning device on a regular basis, my heart, chest, and lungs on a regular basis. Um, like I said, EEGs, EKGs, we're doing an ear modeling sample, which is basically we're viewing the inside of the ear and we're drawing it all out with computer-aided design every day. And we're looking for microscopic changes. Additionally, and finally, this is the coolest part. I had a... I had a microbiologist down here. I told you I was visiting with a whole bunch of visiting professors, a microbiologist. And what he did is he took some dirt off the floor in the lagoon, right? Swam down, looked at it. In here, growing on the side is a brand new psyllid, new to science, single cell organism. We're pretty sure it's brand new. Like we're finding new species of stuff. How cool is that? That's all I got. That's as cool as I get. <laughs> awesome. So, so that's our mission director. His name is Thane. And he's out there picking up lobsters. That's a live lobster right there. Look at oh, oh, no, 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 that's a molted lobster. So that actually molted. So that is a, uh, that's the shell of a lobster, which is kind of cool. And that's what they do. They molt, they get rid of their skin and then they can grow larger. You guys don't get rid of your skin, right? How are you? All right, well, you guys are from Colorado, is that right? Yeah. Oh man, is it cold in Colorado? Uh, it's not today. 
Wait. Let's just be clear. There's snow on the ground, right? Yeah, it's going to snow tomorrow. Okay. okay. No, I'm going to go ahead and veto that and just be like, no, uh, I'll be in the warm states. Thank you. <laughs> Our sixth grade class of uh, science class, kind of neat. We get the opportunity to interact with these kids and zoom in with these landlocked states, teach them a little bit about the ocean and get them crazy about science, technology, engineering, and math, right? Like, hey, scuba diver just came by on the outside. Hey, there's a lobster rolling around out there. Hey, 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 you know. So when they get excited about it, we get excited and may, who knows, maybe the next Sylvia Earl is in that class, right? I mean,